Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Minecraft Survival. Oh, I see you down there. They're not angry at him. Wait, wait, wait. Did that guy's body just cycle all the way down and then back up? Or is it just distance messing with me? Anyway, episode 13 of Minecraft Survival. Now, we're tearing this thing down because it's just straight up not effective. And then building a new one, bigger one, that uses the old, an old fashioned design, way up at the built-in. But first... So, we're we doing something from last episode. That always does that. And yep. Yep. And where is he? Where's the horsey? There he is. We're gonna be making a stable for you. Also, chickens have grown up, and I got a little eggs. It means I will eventually be able to I'll eventually I'll be able to start doing the pumpkin pie. No, was it eating already? Or did I just dump it already? Nope. Yeah, you are you are stable. Now I went down into the mine area. Do I happen to have any no no? Alright, right quick. Let's see. Do I have uh right. Basically, the exact opposite. I need two of them, which I can, in fact, do. So, that's you. Now then, we need to pick some up for it. But first, we need to make. One of you. Oop, a bit of lag. There. You stay there. By the way. So, where to put the storage for the horsey? Well, this is two blocks wide. Hmm. <laughs> and I can hear my chicken farm. But yeah, he killed that. Hmm. Well, let's see. Got three blocks of vertical height would be needed. Which I can get from here. Yeah, that is very deep. I could basically just I have a short this. Basically just a hole into here that will act as a stable. Fortunately, if I have another one. Oh, speaking of running out of tool, made another axe for the uh, little tree farm I have in the base. Yeah, that should be deep enough. So, I think I will you like so there we go all right and uh, <laughs> and I have to get you out all right that's the easy and we go skip sleep do 
not when any kind of sign I'm going to be a piece of snack. Alright, uh, well, I'm going to need to grab the glass again. I made a mistake when I let the. when I brought him in. And. Hey, man. What's up? There we go. You've been contained. Sure, he stays there. So I should probably actually just dig a little tunnel, rinse everything in, and then put this door further over that way. Eh. Anyway, you go in there. Let's get you. You. Uh, don't to worry about. You go there. You go there. Well, I'm gonna be getting rid of this stuff, so. Actually, we can grab you. Swing by this guy. And what's up? What's it got? Wait a bit of that. There you go. Yeah, the cake's almost gone. Was this piston activating? Or was that one of these? Because I heard the piston. I'm guessing it's this. Because those were high. Yeah, and the thing is way, 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 way up. Alright, we need you. Now, let's go break something. Up we go. <laughs> All right. And all of you shall be gone. Rock that floats. Only in Minecraft. Well, be again, Judy. That actually does raise a question. What would it take to get rock to actually float? Because floating is literally just a question of density. Also, a bit of uh, news. Since I'm doing boring stuff. I've literally just, well, just before firing up the recording, created a DeviantArt account because I intend to devote some of the my time and effort into 3D artwork. But only just spacecraft and stuff like that. I already have all this. I already have the software I need, namely Blender. But it's just simply sitting down and just doing it. So I have a whole load of ideas, mainly centered around uh, the Earth Moon territory. Yeah, there's not gonna be any more business for this coming world farm. Stuff like a house ship, well, oh, house, a house spaceship, really. Because in science fiction, there's this disturbing lack of things that pretty much meet the description of a houseboat. Despite how many times you see characters that basically live on a boat, live on a spaceship. Though, of course, some science fiction is better than others when it comes to doing all the other stuff, like the expanse. They bring in the whole, but what about race racing? Because think about it. We have 
racing for cars and planes, why not spaceships? If you've gotten to the point where you can, or basic, or basically space travel is, well, interplanetary travel is the equivalent of just any old day in the high seas, then why not? Makes perfect sense. When you get down to it. I'm thinking if we get to the point where a lot of people can actually viably afford it right into space, there's going to be a lot of people that will decide to move. And with things such as tiny homes and caravanning and motorhomes and stuff like that, there'll probably be a lot of people who decide to just live in a bit of a spaceship that's docked to a space station. And, damn it. Not the design, but anyway, the design for the uh, mobile phone that I'm going to be going for is basically based off of the real old school 3x3. Three three. Like, in the old 3x3 three three pads with water around it. That's basically been around for literal years. So basically the days of Alpha. That's kind of deal. Means no moving parts. Though I will be putting half slabs in the center just to get rid of the spiders or prevent spiders. Because spiders I can get the only reason you need spiders is spider eyes, which you can make you can kill them yourself. Or. Yeah, I'll put that one. There. And. Alright. Noisy. Alright. Um. I need to make letters. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sticks. That's three. Okay. Now let's go set up the base. And where should we put it? I think we shall put it right here. Well, actually right here. Ah, up we go. To the build limit. But, you know, how, how this one's going to work, the mobs will walk off the platform like with what I was, the one that I just tore, tore down. It's meant to have the creepers, skeletons, and zombies. Basically, the basic hostile mobs. Now I'm then going to have them fall into water streams, which will then take them to a central point where they will fall to their doom. Then I'll have a hopper at the bottom that will collect all their will collect the drops and go from there. Eventually I'll build a proper storage system. Yeah, man. This is going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, you can see the limits of my render distance. Right, well, I'm gonna be, I'll be back once I've got a. <clears throat> right, anyway, as I seen before, I was really interrupted by my computer deciding to minimize this. I'm gonna be back once I've built this tower, and I got a way back up and down. Oh yes, the llama, the llamas. Right, anyway, I'll see you then. Just a little note. As I was climbing back up, after I got a load of cobblestone, noticed a pillager patrol. I got my cursor right on the dude with the flag. Hmm. Just something interesting. Alright. The little interesting bit down there is 
seller, but we're at the top of the world. That is actually somewhere annoying because it means I can't just place torches up here. I actually have to take a block out. Alright, also, after I came up here, built a platform up there, platform around here for working. This is, this is the height that the actual farm is going to be at. So, here's a roof. This is the level that they're going to be spawning at. They'll then pull into water stream, do some water streams, and then ultimately to their doom. And then fall to their death. I have quick pull to water source which I'm going to need to get more of and then there goes the ladder I'm going to want to replace this eventually with a uh, water elevator like I have in the mine pretty much actually like right there <clears throat> once I've got that then I'll be able to come up and go down real fast <laughs> alright but we need to but hopefully not falling off. Thank you, shift key. Yeah. And what's up? There we go. That will do for accessing the thing. So one, two, three. Yeah. Let's go right for that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> How big should I go? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, let's see, that's a 3x3, three three, then a cap, and another 3x3. Three three. Alright. have right now. Yeah, so that way the spiders won't be able to spawn. Hmm. Let's see. Yo. I just need to go down and put the uh, trenches in. So be yeah, a two two block gap, two block fall. So basically the mob will fall down and then water stream will water stream will take them off. Hmm, but how big should I make it? Hmm. Could go with say a three by three arrangement. So basically I have through these spawning pads. Actually. So it's basically like this, but then another three there, and then another three beyond that. I might do that. So this design is very easy to expand upon. I'm going to go off and get some water so I can build the next little bit, namely the one block further down so I can start on the uh, channels. And yeah, I will go with the 3x3 three three arrangement, so 3 wide by 3 long. These little spawning pads. But I'll be back just now. Alright, and I'm back. <laughs> uh, haha. A little hardcore parkour. There we go. Alright. There we go. There we go. And then um, like a soap. Don't want 
ones out there. Alright. There. Then we go one, two, three. We go that way. This way. Because I'm going to actually have to build another platform to do that. So I can get up and down. Yeah. So we know this one path did. There, there, then da, da, da. Right, well, I'll be back. No. Yeah. I'll be back once I've got the spawning path sorted. Alright. Spawning is spawning area is basically done. Now, you got these nine pads. Spawn the two block high mobs. They'll then be able to walk off. Now, I've also recessed the water sources. What we're going to basically flow in and push them to here, here, here. Basically, pretty much there, 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 and there. But they then fall, they'll fall down further, and then they'll end up going down this hole, which will then be the hole they'll fall down to their doom. I should probably actually put a sign there, which I could easily get my hands on. Very close. Now, I've also gone around and done the base wall. Eventually, build this up, seal it up. But first, let's do the under bit. The actual drop shooting. Probably the, also the AFK area. But first, <laughs> and I've basically depleted almost all of my cobblestone. That all goes up there, that goes up there. Mm. There. We need to go. I need to actually make a infinite water source. I'm gonna go. Actually, let's drop that there. Then I'm gonna fall down. So glad I only need one block of water to do that. Let's just grab that. Nope. Run away. Ow. Ow. Okay, fine. Run away. I'll be back once I get back up there. Alright, I got a new source, we got this. I've also got some trap doors and some signs. Now, signs. Actually, I don't need to do that. I can go there. Done. Hey. Hey. So, just to make sure that what is not. down there. Now, the trap doors. Watch this. Alright, fine. I'm gonna have to do that.
Did it help trick the mobs? Into walking off. But that'll do for right quick. Ah. Mm, so that back over there. We need to put so let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixty. Sixty more tractors. It's gonna need a lot of wood. But anyway. I need to Okay, so this I now need to go put a marker for where the bottom of it's gonna be. Ooh, and it's nighttime. Uh, you can just make out the outer red outer edge of my view distance. Then I have to find out when I go check where how far away I need to be from the actual pads to make sure fossil mobs spawn. I'll be back once I've got the once I've marked everything up. Got the uh, bit down at the bottom where the mob shell goes splat. I've also brought up a sign, I bunked it right there to stop the water from that, 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 I know it's up there, from flowing down there and stopping them from dying. I'm going to cast splat. This is about 30 blocks. And down, 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 down. And then they go kiss black right here. Okay, that, that. What's up? Thinking I'm gonna be putting a uh, that now. Mm. Mm. There. It is. Put some glass there so that way that wouldn't come out into the knee. There we go. Just do, do, do. So I can basically just park off here, then it's far enough away that puzzle mobs can spawn, they'll then be worked their way through, and then they'll come down here and go splat. This and the hopper will pick up the loot. It'll then forward it to another one and then to a chest, which then can then be rigged up to go to a proper sorting system down below. And I can then rig up straight below it. That'll then be able to sort out all the drops. But that is later, because that means building a whole sorting system. So, here's what we're going to do. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this tower. This tunnel all the way back up. Sort out the thins and also actually sort out some of this stuff. I also grab some glass. Oh, three pieces of glass to go here so I can see them splat. And yeah, that'll be it. I'll catch you just now. Alright, a little bit of a side mission. I ended up accidentally falling down to lower level, set my stuff all over the place. So I then went, picked it all up, came back up to get so that I was still up here, got killed by a pair of zombies. So I've gone off and re. <laughs> so there's all that stuff. I've also put glass on at the bottom of it. Now it is time to add the water. There's just an ice problem up here. Here. 
probably should have grabbed more buckets, but no. You. You. That did no pulling to my doom. And you. Another bucket. You. Yet one more bucket. Two more buckets, and I shall be done. Well, this devil anyway. Then I have to go down and sort out the system down below. Then I have to put a cap on this thing. This is the one I want. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish off the water and put it. Do most of the capping. We shall see about if this thing works. I doubt. I'll be back once I'm done. Alright, well, I'm now out of cobblestone, like completely. I still have this little hole in the roof. But. Don't know how well this is actually gonna work. Yeah, so can we still No, we can't do the hole. Looks like the sand becomes the sand. Kind of not. Anyway. Let's just put that in. Now, we need to go way down to this part. Pick up any possible cabinet stone as still lurks. Yeah, I've also put a barrel down here. Oh, and I got ink. Actually, if I can remove this. Yeah. Alright, I've pulled the. Uh, so that I was using for marking out, which means I can now close that up, and I still got some left over. So I can then use magic dark. Okay, no approaches. There you go. That's now sealed up. Alright. Go down. Hope that works. If not, then well, now I'll have to tweak it. Probably the water source is way out. But yeah. So mobs spawn up there, they walk around. Ultimately end up falling off into the water streams. Hopefully the uh, combine all the water streams right, combine all the water streams works somewhat. And the mobs will then come into the middle and then hopefully end up falling down or at least knocking each other down into here where this drops will be collected here. But that's gonna do it for episode 13, I believe it is. I should count. Yep, episode 13. Yeah, that's gonna do it for episode 13. If you've enjoyed, then hit the subscribe button to see more or leave a comment if you have any ideas. Also like because well that helps. Or even dislike. Don't really mind. Though it would be kind of interesting to have a not 100% ray rating as what is it? We consider the average for my channel right now. Um, also, I do other things than Minecraft. I have my uh, the Nautica series and Factorio series, which is probably going to be ending soon. There's also playlists for all active for my active series in the description. Uh, also just check out the channel if you want, maybe, oh, 
and it works. E and didn't drop anything. Mean. There. I've been the Jupiter Fleets, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.